Michael Bolton, the multiple Grammy award-winning singer, songwriter and social activist, who has sold more than 65 million albums and singles worldwide, continues to tour the world every year, all while writing, recording and taping for a wide array of projects spanning music, film, television and branded entertainment. Bolton remains committed to humanitarian causes, especially through the Michael Bolton Charities as well as other philanthropic organizations. Known for his soulful voice and poignant lyrics, his timeless charm and good looks have also earned him a spot in several People magazine's Sexiest Man issues, including Sexiest Man Alive. Michael became a viral sensation in the Lonely Island's Emmy-nominated video, Captain Jack Sparrow, that launched on Saturday Night Live and has racked up nearly 160 million views on YouTube. He then partnered with Funny or Die to release a spoof on the cult classic Office Space. Bolton continued his comedic appearances in several episodes of CBS's hit series Two and a Half Men, the hit Fox Network show Glee, HBO's hit series Last Week Tonight with John Oliver, and has ongoing campaigns with American Greetings. In his recent autobiography, The Soul of It All, Hachette, Center Street, Bolton states he is just teeing off on the back nine of his career. In recognition of his artistic achievements, Michael won two Grammys for Best Pop Male Vocal Performance, nominated four times, six American Music Awards, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. As a songwriter, he has earned over 24 BMI and AMP. ASCAP Awards, including Songwriter of the Year, Nine Million Air Awards, and the Hitmakers Award from the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Internationally renowned, Michael has recorded and performed with musical icons that have inspired and influenced his own career. He joined Luciano Pavarotti on stage in a highly praised rendition of Vesti la Juba, and pays homage to the Italian tenor when performing the aria, Nessun Dorma, at each of his concerts while on tour. He has sung with Placido Domingo, Jose Carreras and Renee Fleming and played guitar with B.B. King. Bolton earned a Grammy nomination for Georgia On My Mind and was invited to sing the classic song to Ray Charles when Ray was honored at the International Jazz Hall of Fame Awards in 1997. A diverse and prolific songwriter, Bolton has worked with some of the greatest songwriters and producers of our time, including Lady Gaga, Diane Warren, Desmond Child, David Foster, Walter Afanasieff, Kenneth, Babyface, Edmonds, John, Mutt, Lang, Dan Huff, A. R. Rahman, Phil Ramone, and Ni Yo, among others. He is one of the very few artists to have co-written with the legendary Bob Dylan, resulting in the mega-hit, Steel Bars. Michael has penned songs that have been recorded and performed by a diverse list of over 100 artists ranging from country-western legend Conway Twitty to hip-hop superstar Kanye West featuring Jay-Z and John Legend. Other greats who have performed Bolton songs include Mark Anthony, Wynonna Judd, Joe Cocker, Peebo Bryson, Kenny Rogers, and Patti LaBelle. Michael has written number one hit singles impacting the careers of artists such as Laura Branigan, How Am I Supposed to Live Without You, Kiss, Forever, Barbara Streisand, We're Not Making Love Anymore. Share, I Found Someone, and Kenny G. By the time this night is over, Michael has always balanced a love for writing new songs with a passion for covering the classics. On his breakthrough album The Hunger, Bolton authored the number one single, That's What Love Is All About, and sang his chart topping version of Otis Redding's Sittin' On, The Dock of the Bay, which was a hit on four radio formats. That album was certified double platinum and shipped four million copies worldwide. To date, Michael has seen nine studio albums rank in the top ten, with nine number one singles. His most recent album Songs of Cinema, a selection of iconic film soundtrack songs, was released alongside an original Netflix production Michael Bolton's Big Sexy Valentine's Day special, which ranked among the network's top 50 best comedies upon debut. Bolton's signature success was seized with the album Soul Provider, selling more than 12.5 million copies worldwide, and showcasing several chart toppers including the number one hit single, How Am I Supposed to Live Without You, which earned Michael his first Grammy. This pivotal album also includes the hit singles, When I'm Back on My Feet, Again, How Can We Be Lovers, Soul Provider, and of course the Grammy-nominated, Georgia On My Mind. Soon after, Bolton released the number one album Time, Love and Amp, Tenderness, which has sold over 16 million copies worldwide, 
and features his Grammy Award-winning vocal performance of the number one blockbuster hit, When a Man Loves a Woman. This album also produced the hit singles, Love is a Wonderful Thing, Time, Love and Tenderness, and Missing You Now, as well as the Dylan co-write, Steel Bars. Bolton followed this up with a collection of soulful classics on Timeless, delivering the hit singles, To Love Some Somebody, and Reach Out I'll Be There. Timeless sold over 7 million copies worldwide. From his next album The One Thing Came Michael's massive single, Said I Loved You. But I Lied, which spent 12 weeks at number one on the AC charts and earned him another Grammy nomination. Michael has always been attracted to a wide array of musical categories, from Sinatra favorites, Bolton Swings Sinatra, to classical arias, My Secret Passion, which achieved number one on the classical charts for six consecutive weeks. His most recent studio album features an authentic approach to Motown and soulful classics, as well as original songs written in the same vein. Michael's songs and performances have been featured in numerous television and film soundtracks, including the Oscar-nominated theme song, Go the Distance, from Walt Disney's blockbuster animated film Hercules and the recent Russell Crowe film Fathers and Amp. Daughters. He also executive produced the documentary Terror at Home Addressing Domestic Violence in America, and was Emmy nominated for writing the title song, Tears of the Angels. Michael is completing a feature-length documentary, Gotta Keep Dreamin' about the 21st century renaissance of Detroit. Bolton was first drawn to Detroit to explore Hitsville, USA, the roots of his